Hello and welcome to another episode of Cooking with John. Today I will be making miniature chicken pot pies with a hint of sriracha in mason jars. This is a recipe I found on I Am The Food Blog by a, it's a variant from a recipe from My Name Is Ye. I hope I'm saying that right, but it was a, it was kind of like a really cool little party hors d'oeuvre that I saw. So I'm going to go ahead and get to making them and hopefully they turn out absolutely delicious. First things first, we want to preheat our oven to 400 degrees. Our next step is going to be to take two tablespoons of butter and melt it down on a high heat in a thick bottom skillet. You could probably do this in a regular pan too, but then we're going to add the onions and we're going to cook them until they are translucent. And this is one small chopped onion. We're going to let that cook for about five to seven minutes and we will constantly be stirring it. And as you can see, the onions are, are starting to lose just a little bit of their color. And remember, we want them to be translucent. We don't want to cook them all the way brown. So the onions are cooking quite nice. So I'm going to go ahead and just sprinkle a little bit of flour in here. I don't want to add it all at once, but I kind of want to put a little bit in. Stir it up a little bit, a little bit more. Kind of stir, stir and add, stir and add. One quarter cup of flour. And this is going to get a little thick, which is good. The butter and the flour are mixing together with the onion and absorbing all that flavor. Next, we're going to add two cups of milk and two cups of chicken stock that have been pre-mixed in a small bowl to the pan. And we'll add just a little bit of that to switch over to our whisk so we can make sure that this all gets mixed up quite well. And you can see it's going to heat up and absorb that mixture rather quick. So we don't want to stop stirring at this point. That whisk was, uh, stuff was getting stuck on the inside, so I'm going to switch back. And once we get all of the chicken stock and all of the milk gathered, we're just going to let this kind of cook and simmer down. It looks a little watery and white right now, but trust me, it's going to cook. It's going to firm up. It's going to cook down. And as soon as that happens, we're going to go ahead. We're going to add the vegetables and the chicken. We'll cook it for about 15 minutes, and we'll be ready to put it all in the jar. And I want to continuously stir this. Now, as this starts to simmer, we're going to go ahead. We're going to add half cup of chopped celery, two large chopped carrots, and half a pound of cubed white chicken meat with half a pound of cubed dark chicken meat. So we have one pound of chicken Oh, I just split it in half, both dark and white. Our next step is gonna be to stir this up without spilling it. And we're gonna let this cook for, oh, I don't know, maybe 10, 15 minutes. Everything will cook down. It'll get nice and soft, nice and cooked. And then we will go ahead and put all this goodness in the jars, throw it in the oven and bake it. And we will go with a whole lot of pepper. That was probably about a tablespoon. And we'll add the same amount of salt. While we're at it, we're gonna take a little fresh thyme and we're just gonna kind of break that up and sprinkle it across the top here. Of course, it'll get mixed in, uh, but this is really gonna add just a whole lot of flavor. Hey, you got the thyme? Oh yeah, it's right there. Uh -huh. And of course, we're gonna top this off with the secret ingredient. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, sriracha. You can do as much or as little of this as you want. It's personal preference. You don't even have to use it, but I thought I'd put a little bit of heat and this chicken pot pie sounded really good. So here I have what is called a pastry puff. Uh, you can buy it in the frozen food section. It's a pastry puff. It kind of puffs up. You can use it. have a lot of different purposes. But we're actually going to take the jar, we'll fill it with the chicken pot pie mixture, and then we'll put this pastry puff over the jar and it'll fluff up and cook. So I went ahead and I filled the little jars with the chicken pot pie mixture all the way up to the top. Again, remember these are appetizer type servings. So what are we gonna do next is we're gonna take our pastry and we're gonna cut out four sections. Hopefully these are big enough. So we just go ahead and we just place it right over the top just like so. Push it down over the edges. And now the next step is going to be to take these jars and put them in the oven for 12 minutes at 400 degrees. Look at that, I knocked one over and it's dripping like crazy. So you see I did add actually a drip pan. Here we have the final product. And we'll set this down, we'll let it cool off, and we'll enjoy some miniature chicken pot pies with a hint of sriracha. I'm not gonna lie guys, okay, this was a glass jar that was in an oven at 400 degrees for you know, a period of time, so it's really, really, really hot. You have to let it cool down a little bit. Here goes nothing. Let's, oh, look at the, look at the steam come off that sucker. I've got a piece of chicken, 
be scared. Huh? Wow. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That is so delicious. I've never made chicken pot pie before. I know it's the pastry puff was really easy to do, but let me tell you what, this is this is by far the best pot pie I've ever made, and it is actually very, very good. And I can see this being just a wonderful little dish to serve at a party with friends. Like I said, a lady named Molly who came up with this recipe, I'll be sure to link everything below where I got the information for you guys, but she had a winter barnyard wedding, I believe. And so she had this to warm up the guests, and it, oh, it was so good. Yum, yum, yum. And chicken pot pies, let me tell you what, guys, they're one of my most favorite things in the entire world to eat, so. This is great. Nikki's gonna be coming home later. I've got three more set aside for her. She's gonna absolutely love them. I'll tell you what, luckily for Nikki, I'm not really in the mood to prank her. She's gonna get legitimate cooking with John chicken pot pies. Oh, these things are so good. Well, as always, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you liked a little bit of a different approach I took to the video this week. I, uh, I, I prepped everything and then made it just right out the shoot. So thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up, comment below, let me know what you think, and we'll see you next week with more cooking from me, John.